Welcome to the Friends of Friend. Today, we're on a field trip at the Church History Museum in Salt Lake City, Utah, where there's a special exhibit about temples. I love temples. There are hundreds of temples all around the world. They're also called the House of the Lord. Do you know why? I think it's because it's Jesus' house and filled with his spirit. I think so too. His house reminds us of what it's like to live with Father in heaven. Hello? Hello? Are you guys there? I need your help. Oh, hi, Jane. She's hiking along a path that can help us learn important things about Heavenly Father's covenant path. What's wrong, Jane? I'm lost. I got off the path and I can't seem to find my way back. How did that happen? Well, I was walking on the path for a really long time and I was tired. Pioneer children sang as they walked and walked and walked and walked and walked. And then I heard something. <laughs> Who's there? Then suddenly, a toucan talked to me. A talking toucan? Hey! You don't want to keep going that way. Why not? Trees, plants, green. You've already seen it. If you want to see something fun, I'm in a toucan jazz band. Really? Yeah, when we play, the hippos dance the can-can. That does sound like fun. But I need to stay on the path. It's just right over here. We won't be far away. Hmm? 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 Well, maybe just one song. Groovy, follow me. Ugh. Hey, wait up! And that's how I got lost. I thought I could leave the path and get right back on again. But I was wrong. Can you help me? Look around. There's got to be something to help you back. I don't see anything. Hang on. There's a big rock with writing on it. Maybe someone left it there to mark the way. What does it look like? It has a picture of Jesus and a temple on it. Hey, that reminds me of my ring I got when I turned eight. It also has a temple on it. Right. Following Jesus leads us to the temple. And the temple leads us to Jesus and Heavenly Father. In the children's guidebook, it says, you can make covenants in the temple that will help you live with Heavenly Father again. Wait, I have an idea. Don't look down, look up. What do you see? I see a temple spire. So if I keep my eye on the temple, that'll guide me back onto the path. Thanks guys. Onward and upward. See, see you later. later. Sometimes we might be tempted or distracted by something or someone that looks good or fun. It's great to know that we can find our way back to Heavenly Father's covenant path by focusing on Christ. He'll always show the way. I think I'm starting to understand better. Jesus Christ sets an example for how to live so we can be ready to enter into the house of the Lord. Hi kiddos, I'm here to help. Ready to learn more about temples? Hi grandma. We're ready. I'm curious. I know temples are pretty buildings, but I don't know much about what happens on the inside. The house of the Lord is a wonderful reminder that we're all children of God, and he has glorious plans for everyone who follows Jesus Christ. I want to show you something. Meet me over by the temple model. I'll be there faster than you can say, Heavenly Father's plan of happiness. Heavenly Father's plan of happiness. What I tell you, <laughs> I still got it. What do you think of this temple model? There are so many rooms. Mm -hmm. And each one has a special purpose. We can worship our Heavenly Father, learn more about his plan of happiness, and we can make sacred promises with him, and he makes sacred promises with us. 
What kind of promises do we make? We make promises or covenants that we will try to be more like him, follow his plan for us, and be part of his family forever. So that's why temples are part of the covenant path. Yes. Jesus taught that there are certain promises that everyone must make to be able to live with Heavenly Father again. And the first promise is at baptism. We learned about the promises of baptism in our last episode. Some of our ancestors didn't have the opportunity to be baptized and confirmed by someone who holds the priesthood while they were still alive in the temple. We can be baptized and confirmed for them. A friend is going to tell us about going to the temple for the first time and doing temple baptisms. Hello, my name is Felicia Taraihu, and I live in Tahiti in French Polynesia. In 2020, during the pandemic with my family, we talked a lot about what was happening in the world. At our family home evening, we talked about eternal families. And I asked my mom, Mom, when are we going to go to the temple to be sealed? Mom cried. From that moment on, I prepared myself to enter the house of the Lord. This year, I turned 12, so I was able to enter the temple on February 2nd, 2022 to perform baptisms for the dead. That day, I was very nervous, and I was thinking about my family who lives in Tainga. But when I walked in, I was really happy. I felt the spirit, the love, and the peace. I was looking forward to getting back inside with my whole family. A month later, with my parents and my sisters, we all entered together as a family to be sealed for eternity. I testified that families can be eternal through temple ordinances. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. I can't wait till the year that I turn 12 and I can get baptized for my family and others. The temple has other rooms where we can learn more about Heavenly Father's plan. In these sacred places, we are blessed or endowed with knowledge and priesthood power through the atonement of Jesus Christ. In these rooms, we focus on the Savior, His role in Heavenly Father's plan, and our commitment to follow Him. And then these are my favorite rooms, where families are sealed together forever. Grandpa and I were sealed for time and all eternity in a room like this. <sighs> I miss him. But I know we'll be together again. Baptisms and temple sealings link us together as a family, even after death and throughout eternity.
here. It reminds me that I am a child of God and that I don't have to stay lost. The Savior can lead me, guide me, and walk beside me. I'm not old enough to go inside yet, but I'm excited that I can prepare now. I'll use the children's guidebook to make goals that will help me stay on the covenant path. Step by step, I can prepare myself to enter the house of the Lord. And so can you! Block by block, a temple is built. Just like each good decision and goal invites the Holy Ghost into our lives and helps us become more like Jesus. Very wise. Good job, you two. Uh, I think while you guys are doing this, I will make a temple craft out of this. Is that macaroni? <laughs> yep. Good thing I always carry some with me. <laughs> oh, I can't wait till I see what you do with that. <laughs> We invited some friends around the world to share their own temple crafts. Let's take a look. Great temple crafts. Well, what do you think of mine? Whoa. Okay, that's very impressive. Just using the old noodle. I think I'll keep it to help me remember to stay focused on Heavenly Father's plan of happiness. And in an emergency, I can cook it for dinner. <laughs> I want to know more about the power of covenants in the house of the Lord. I do too. Hello, friends. Hi. Alice, it's so good to see you again. And Anthony, thank you so much for coming. Grandma, it's <laughs> nice to be with you. <laughs> Hello, President Johnson. I'm delighted that you're interested in knowing about the power associated with the covenants that we make in the house of the Lord. For me, the power is being bound to our Savior. Jesus Christ, who makes our return to our heavenly home possible. We have a special witness of Jesus Christ who is going to share more with us about the power of the covenants in the temple. Elder Gary E. Stevenson of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles, who is in Tokyo, Japan, and will share with us his testimony about the temple as the house of the Lord. Nihone Yokoso. Welcome to Japan. I'm Elder Stevenson, and I'm here for the rededication of the Japan Tokyo Temple. I'm here with five beautiful primary children from Japan. What feeling came to your mind when you were touring inside the temple? I had a good feeling. You had a good feeling? Anything else? I thought about Jesus Christ. What did you learn about Jesus Christ today? I learned that the temple 
is where we welcome Christ in. Yeah, that's correct. The temple is the house of the Lord. What does the temple mean to you? It's an important place. It's an important place. Now, what about you? It's a place where we can be closer to Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ. Mm, yes, that's true, too. Anything else? Jesus' house. Yes, it is Jesus' house, isn't it? Anything you learned? It's a place for us to know. Jesus and Heavenly Father. Mm. Oh, thank you so much. I really like that answer. It's a very important place on this earth. Yes, it is an important place. I'm really glad to hear that from you. Now, lastly, how do you prepare yourself to enter the temple when you're old enough? What is your preparation? I'm reading five pages of the Book of Mormon every day. Yeah, that's good. You're preparing by reading the Book of Mormon. Uh, I go to church to learn about Jesus. Oh, thank you so much. That's great. I go to church every Sunday and interact with many people to learn more about Jesus Christ. Thanks. Now, what do you do to prepare? I take the sacrament at church every week. Oh, thanks so much. That's great preparation. Well, isn't it a great blessing for members of the church to attend the house of the Lord that we have a temple? And you can see these young primary children are preparing even at this age. I'm so impressed with everything that they have uh, taught us today. Now, I'd just like to offer my testimony as well. It's such a blessing for members of the church to be able to attend the temple. Heavenly Father loves each one of His children. He especially loves primary children. He loves every child of God. I know Heavenly Father lives. I know the temple is literally the house of the Lord. I know Jesus Christ lives. I testify that He is the Son of God. I testify of these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Wow, that was marvelous. Alice, what did you learn about the house of the Lord today? I learned that even though temples are pretty buildings on the outside, there's a lot more special covenants and promises we make on the inside. Oh, that's perfect. You really understand the blessings of the temple, don't you, Alice? The blessings of the temple are the promises that we make inside. Anthony, what did you learn today about the house of the Lord? I'm excited to get baptized in the temple to help my ancestors for those who haven't gotten baptized yet. What a beautiful opportunity awaits you to go into the house of the Lord and perform those baptisms for people who didn't have that opportunity when they lived on the earth. So proud of you both. Grandma, what did you learn today about the house of the Lord? I realized that the wonderful peace in the temple is due to our Savior Jesus Christ and His Atonement. Beautiful. The temple is part of the covenant path that leads us to our heavenly home and back to our Heavenly Father through the Savior Jesus Christ. It has been delightful to be with you today. Thank you for letting me join you. We're glad you, you joined, joined us. us. And thank you for joining us as we learn more about the house of the Lord. Remember, Jesus always leads us to the temple, so make sure to follow Him and stay on the covenant path. And don't forget to create your own temple craft out of anything you want. Keep it in your home as a reminder that one day we'll all be united in our heavenly home together. 
See you next time. Bye. Bye.